Hi, I'm Tash and welcome to this kids yoga practice. So today you're going to need a mat or a comfortable place to practice and you will need a book or a booklet. It doesn't matter what size. So let's start in our neat and tidy pose. And can you sit with cross legs like me? Let's get some magical yoga glue ready. And then rub our hands together. Good. Let's take a big breath in. Namaste, hey, namaste, hey, is what we say, is what we say. It means peace and love to you and all of your friends too. Namaste, namaste. Great job singing. Can you help warm up our bodies? Can you show me your wiggly, messy fingers? Can you wave your wiggly, wiggly fingers around? Good. Can you show me your messy, wiggly arms too? Good job. Reach your messy arms over. And then reach them over to the other side. Good. And then reach them up high. Tickle the sun. Say hello, sun. And then come back to neat and tidy pose. Ready? Good job. Can you show me a messy face? Good. Can you show me your toes? Can you lift your toes up really high and squash them down on the floor? Good. Can you lift your toes up high and then squash them down on the floor? Great. Can you lift your toes up high and then spread them wide, make space between your toes? Can you scratch your toes up really small? Good job. Can you wiggle your toes? Make them all move and jiggle. And then wiggle your legs as well. Good. Can you also wiggle your arms at the same time? Great. And then come back to neat and tidy pose. Ready? <gasps> neat and tidy. Good job. Can you show me your wiggly fingers? Your messy arms? Your messy toes? Your messy face and legs all at the same time. Super messy. Blah, 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 blah. Good job. Okay, let's come back to neat and tidy pose. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, neat and tidy pose. Good. Can you reach your arms up for the sun? And then clap your hands over your head. Good. Banana to one side. Banana to the other side, boing. Massive arms and massive legs as well. Make your legs really big. Good job. And then can you tickle your toes? Tickle, 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 tickle. Great. Can you tickle the ground? See if you can make a sound like thunder. Great job, everyone. Let's do banana to one side again. Boy. Banana to the other side. Boy. Good job. Make your arms super, 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 super big again and then show me your tongue. Bah. Great. And then can you make yourself as small as you can? Like a teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny shell. And can we come back to neat and tidy pose? Ready? <gasps> neat and tidy, good job. So, I thought we could do something today that involves the sea and being underwater. So, let's go on an adventure together. Can you come with me? Great. So because we're going underwater, I thought we should practice using our snorkel. So let's get our goggles ready. And then we've got our special snorkel today. Can you make a snorkel with your hand? And then we're gonna try breathing through one nostril. So can you close one of your nostrils and then take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Good. Can you make a snorkel with your other hand and do the same? Take a big breath in. 
and a big breath out. Really good, strong nostrils. Okay, let's do the same. Close one of your nostrils, and this time, take really tiny, tiny breaths out. You're trying to sniff something. Like a dog, good. And then do the same on the other side. Great, and then we'll take one big breath on each side again, ready? And on the other side. Good job, and then shake it out, give yourself a wiggle. Good, okay. So I thought because we're going to the seaside, we could take our scooters there. So can you come and stand up? And then we're going to hold onto the handlebars of our scooters and bend our knees. Good. And then let's kick off with one foot. And we've got a balance. Good. You can steer from side to side. And then see if you can jump and change legs. Good. And then kick. Scooting along. Really, really good. All the way to the seaside. And then can you jump off of your scooter as we arrive? Great job. Okay, and because we're going into the ocean, we're going to get our wetsuit on. So let's take a big step into our wetsuit. Good, pull the trousers on. And then get into the arms. Good. Amazing, and then zip it up. And a boat is going to take us out into the water. So can you come and be a boat with me? We're going to reach our hands underneath our knees and lift up through our toes into our boat pose. And then you may even see if you can let go and drive from side to side. Good. Boat pose. See if you can wiggle and wobble like a boat on the waves. Good. Shall we be a wave as well? So let's come and stand up and reach your arms up and then wave from side to side like a wiggly, wiggly wave. Good. What would a wave look like if it was going really fast? Maybe it would wave its whole body and then if it was going really slow, good. Maybe you can make a noise like a wave. Good. And then let's wave our hands as well. Good. Wave our hands and wave our feet like a wave. Good. Okay. So let's get ready to dive underwater. You can bring your hands together and let's do a dive into the water. Come and kneel down. Good. And let's take a swim around. And the first animal we've seen is a really playful dolphin. So can you bring your arms on the floor and then maybe lift up and keep your head off of the ground into dolphin pose. Good. Really, really good. Can you make a noise like a playful dolphin? Great job. And with these dolphins is a baby dolphin. I wonder what a baby dolphin would look like. Can you help me make a pose for a baby dolphin? I'm going to come and do this just with my forearms down. Good. I wonder what your pose looks like. Pretty good. And then let's swim on. Good. Oh, and the next animal we've seen is a big whale. So can you come and lie down on your belly? And then we're going to reach our hands behind us. Let's lift up through our head and like a big, 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 big whale rock from side to side. Maybe you have a big smile because you're a friendly whale. Good. Water 
spurt out from the top of you like a whale. Good. Let's see what else we can find at the bottom of the sea. Let's carry on swimming. Good. And now we've reached the bottom and there is some beautiful seaweed. So can you help me be some wobbly, wavy seaweed? Good. Come up onto your knees and wave your arms. And then maybe you can lift one of your legs and extend it and then wave your arms like that. Good. See if you can keep your balance. Can you do the same thing on the other side? waving like some beautiful green seaweed and coming out of the seaweed is a crab so let's bring our hands behind us and lift up our bottoms and then see if you can move around like a crab what would a crab look like moving really slowly can you move really quickly like a crab? Good. Maybe you can lift up one of your feet and give your pincers a try. Maybe you can do the same thing with your hands. Amazing job, everyone. Really good. Shall we come and have a little sit down on the sea floor? Imagine that you are underneath the water with your snorkel. Good. And just in front of us is a beautiful treasure chest. So can we make a pose for a treasure chest? Maybe we come onto our fours and look like a square block box that can open. Let's open the treasure chest and see what we can find. And the first thing we found is an amazing underwater book. So what we're going to do with this book is see if we can place it on our head. Can you hold it there? Maybe you can even let go and stay super, super still. And <laughs> the book might fall off, that's okay. Maybe you can even try <laughs> standing up with the book. You can hold on to it if you want. And then, can you even try lifting up one leg with this book still on your head? Show me your wobbles. Good. And then can you do the same on the other side? Great job. Oh, and then let the book fall down. Great. In this treasure chest as well is a beautiful mermaid. Let's pretend to be a mermaid or a merman. Bring our feet like this and then turn around and pretend we're a mermaid looking or a merman looking underwater. Good job. Can you do the same thing on the other side? So swap your legs over. And then find your mermaid position. Can you be as beautiful and still as a mermaid? Great job. The last thing that's in the treasure chest is the most beautiful shell in the world. Can you come and tiny, tiny shell resting on the ground. See how 
Close the treasure chest. And shall we swim back to the surface? This time the boat has a jet ski for us. So let's sit down onto the ski and then ride the waves. You might like to lift one foot up and lift the other in your ski. Good. Let's sit down on the boat to see if we can get back to shore. Maybe holding onto your leg. And then we've landed. Let's take our wetsuit off. And get back onto our scooter. Good. This time we can go super fast. Good. And can you swap legs? Oh, amazing job. And we've come back into our neat and tidy pose. Shall we put our snorkel away? And then take a big breath. What an adventure we've had. So can you come and lie down on your mat, maybe with your grown-ups, and come into your starfish pose. Take a moment to relax your body into the ground. And then imagine that you were a starfish gently lying on the beach, feeling the sand underneath you that's really nice and warm. And you're a smiling starfish, so gently smile. And just like a starfish, you're staying super, super still. the beautiful sand underneath you and the waves gently lapping in the background. And know that this starfish position and this space of peace is somewhere that's always inside of you, just waiting. All you need to do is relax and find it. And then let's wiggle our fingers and our toes. Let's reach our arms above our heads. Take a big stretch. Bring your knees into your chest. Squeeze like you're a lemon trying to get all of the juice out. And then come back into your neat and tidy pose. Let's take a big breath in and reach our arms up and clap. Bring our hands to our heart center and give them a rub. And then let's sing our special yoga song one more time. Ready? Namaste, namaste is what we say, is what we say. It means peace and love to you, who, and all of your friends too, who. Namaste, namaste. Namaste, little yogis, or medium sized yogis, and namaste, big yogis. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.